Number two, invisible war can be physical handicap like sickness. You see the sickness, but you do not know that the enemy uses it to wall you, to limit you, to place you in one spot. How do you explain the woman in the book of Luke chapter 13, verse 11 to 16? For 18 years, this woman was in one spot. She moved from year to year, from year to year, from year to year. She could not fulfill her destiny. Do you know that, listen to me, when you are sick, you cannot fulfill destiny. Can I talk to someone here today? Hello? Imagine you are called to be a preacher and then you were paralyzed. How will you preach? Can I get a witness in the hands? Imagine you are born to be a president and you are planning to be a president and you got crippled. The person got crippled. Have you seen a crippled president? I don't know if you have seen one in the world. Hello? How? To make a handicap. Or you are ordained to be a pilot and suddenly you were doing your training and then the person get blind. How will you fight blind? Hello? Have you seen a blind person flying plane before? Am I talking to someone here today? Now all these are place, are limitation. There are walls, barricades, barriers to hinder you from fulfilling destiny in form of sickness. Can I pray for someone here today? Every sickness the enemy has placed in your life, that all your life you've been nursing it. When you pursue sickness, the morning you are used to do something else, you are putting in this to settle your sickness. Instead of you to go and do something, you are busy taking care of the sickness. You want to get up, you say, I'm tired, let me just stay. You are bedridden. I prophesy. If you say, Amen, may the sickness leave you now. May the sickness leave you now. That is why they say health is wealth. If you are healthy, you can go about doing your business. Can I get a weakness in the house? A man that is not well, is not sick. How can he go about? How can he go about? It's limited. I prophesy. Every sickness that has been ordained to limit you, he leaves you now. In the name of Jesus. Number three. Satanic prison. They can imprison you. Put you in captivity. And you are just moving, but you are in the prison. It's like taking a goat and place the goat somewhere and tie the goat and call the name of the person the goat. Hello? Or taking an effigy, an image representation in form of a door, call the name of the person in the door and take that door and put the door inside a cage and lock the cage. And say, as long as this door is inside the cage, so will this person be in, be in bondage. And that person is moving physically, but spiritually the person is inside the prison. Are you here today that you have discovered in your life, you don't understand what is going on. Something is telling you, I need deliverance. I need to break out. Something is, I feel limitation around me. I'm moving, oh, I'm moving, oh, I'm walking, oh, I'm doing something, so, but what happened that, I just feel that what happened, something, there, there, there's something around me, there's something that is preventing me from, from fulfilling my destiny. I prophesy, if you are that one today, may deliverance come upon you now. Every invisible prison that they have kept you. If you say better amen, the prison is breaking now. The prison is breaking now. If the prison door in the book of Acts chapter 12, where they kept Peter, could open, I prophesy today in the name of Jesus. Just like Peter came out of the prison in Acts chapter 12, I prophesy, if you say amen, may you come out of the prison now. I said, may you come out of the prison now. May you come out of the prison now. And then finally, the fourth invisible prison is what we call mental imprisonment or mental walls. Mental walls. They place the mental wall around you. And that one is more deadly like any, any other thing. Because it affects your thinking. They put a wall. It could be from where you came from. It could be from your background. 
and you have been used to these people talking about this. You came from a very poor home and then you are used to poverty. And you are using to keep everything you have. When God said it's time to give, you will never give. You will always want to keep and collect. Why? Because you were brought up like that. Unconsciously, you behave like that. That is what called mental world. Can I talk to some of you today? The enemy builds a world and it's in your mindset. In your mindset. The Bible says that you cannot be greater than your mindset. Proverbs chapter 3, 23 verse 7. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. You are a product. You cannot be greater than the way you think. Can I talk to some of you today? That is why information is very, is very, inform is very, very important. Hello? The quality of information you have available to you will determine the quality of your life. Can I talk to someone here today? The quality of information you have available to you, you make use of, will determine the quality of your life. People today cannot live a quality life because they cannot access quality information or when they get it, they don't digest it. Why? They are their mindset is limited, is walled, so they cannot think beyond the box. Their mind has been placed in the box. The devil has walled them. And he started and saw that they are going to be great in life, and he started from their foundation. Hello? Started from their foundation. Today, some certain persons to get married is a problem. Why? Because the devil brought somebody some years ago to come and mess up their life. And when they mess up their life, he builds a wall around them, a mental wall. So therefore, they become aggressive. So when somebody else is coming, they cannot allow the person access again. Why? Because it's a mental wall. They come to conclusion subconsciously that all men are like that. Can I talk to someone here today? So people cannot enjoy their marriage because they are always thinking of somebody else that hurt them and unconsciously they didn't know they are acting reacting the way that person did that it was a plan work from the beginning to wall your mind to give you a mental to make mental walls around you can I talk to someone here today the devil planned it from the beginning said let me try this some people went through so much poverty so much poverty that listen to me that when you give them money listen to me they can't have on that mindset. They will lose that money. They don't know what to use the money to do. They will do a business that will just... Psh, they can't think beyond that level. What do you want to do? I want to be selling sweets. I was asking someone one time, see so okay, no problem. What, what do you want to do? So if we, if you, in my, this is, so if we support you now, see so we give you 100,000 now. You want to do something to empower you. So what will you do? He said, when someone said that, uh, that, that, there's so many things to that. What happened that he will be buying notebook, notebook, and then what happened that, uh, you know, put, uh, what I call it, uh, this uh, table, he will be buying sweets. That they make money, they make money with sweets. They just, just retain it, and then what happened, you know, in, in our front there and everything. So you know that what happened that, until the mind, there's a mind, mental blockage. <laughs> Hello? So, so the person, don't blame them. Don't blame them. All you need to do is to help them. Because what happened that they are, they are mentally they are blocked. That's their mind. Their mind is blocked. The money you will use to do something great, you give that person. Make that person. Give that person now. Because of his mind, he will hold that money. In the next this thing, it will not produce anything. The money will go down completely. Am I talking to someone here today? And it's not their fault. It is the devil that started it from the beginning to make a wall around them. So they cannot think beyond this level. No, 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 no. And God meets you based on your container. You cannot what God cannot bless you above your container. Can I talk to someone here today? Hello? That's why the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 50, 54, it says, Sing, go barren. Break forth into singing. It says, Greater are the children of the desolate than the children of the what? the married woman. So it begins to say, listen to me, that the one that is barren, there's something responsible for the barrenness. The one that is desolate, there's something responsible for the, desol for the desolation. He says, so therefore, enlarge the place of your tent. He didn't say enlarge your tent. He said enlarge the place where the tent is. Because if you enlarge the tent and the place is small, 
where the tent will take. Can I talk to something? So enlarge the place of your tent. Enlarge your thinking. Enlarge your mindset. Some people, sorry, sorry, some churches cannot go beyond what happens. Some people, listen to me, the capacity of the leader determines the capacity of what happens of the church. Either you like it or not, the leader controls everything. If you are the lead pastor, the world, your capacity. There are some persons who they cannot pastor more than what happened. They don't have the capacity to pastor more than 20, 20 people. Or 10, so if you put them, what happened, they can't go more than that. No, nothing you are doing. No, there's nothing. Except they increase their capacity. No matter what they do, that's it. So also some certain persons, they cannot go beyond. They cannot handle what happened, millions, billions. No! And no, their capacity cannot match that. In fact, if you give them billion now, they will, they will, they will run mad. Am I talking to someone today? They are confused. They, are, they will be confused. So, God is saying, listen to me, one of the things you need to do, we need to break that wall. Break that wall. Enlarge the place of your tent. Then you cannot be enlarging your tent. Can I talk to someone here today? I prophesy to someone yesterday. I don't know who you are, but starting from now, every mental blockage that the enemy has placed today, God is pulling all those blockages in the name of Jesus. Everything the devil has placed since, and they are making you to think. They say, What happened? So, what happened? So, your coat according to your what? Your size. Not according to your clothes, according to your size. Am I talking to someone here today? Hello? You saw your coat according to your clothes. You can use, you can even drag back up. <laughs> am, am I talking to someone here today? Hello? So, you know, so all those things, then what happened? And your parents just say, Come, 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 come. Don't play with those rich people. Don't play with those people. You don't know where they're going. No. We are poor. We are poor. We are poor. We are poor. All your life, you have been saying, You are poor. We are poor. You are poor. So, anytime you want to do anything great like that, what keeps ringing your head? Subconscious, so we are poor. We are poor. We are poor. So, therefore, we cannot pass this level in life. And that is why you see from generation to generation, they all be like their parents. Can I talk to someone here today? It's in the mind. Some things at times is not just spirit, it's in the mind. Hello? You see your parents, what happened? You saw your parents beating your, 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 you saw your father beating your mother. If you are not careful, you will rise up. What you do not like, you hate it, you will see yourself beating your wife too. It's in the mind. What you see, the mental picture continues. So come subconsciously, you see yourself acting like that. You saw your parents happen to be a drunkard. If you are not careful, you will you, you don't like it that time. You will rise get up and say, Man, sit down. So the, the man will say, Man, say, the only way out is to I bet drink drink to forget your sorrow. Drink to forget your problem. Things are not working. Just drink and forget all this trouble. So the man just go and drink and say, forget about the trouble. When you wake up, the trouble they look at you. You don't double. They deceive yourself. I, am I talking to someone today? It has to do with the man. Put your hand and say, Father change my mind. Say, Father, every wrong mindset that has limited me, change now. Change now. Can I hear amen to that now? Let's run this out. What do I need to do? Number one, connect to your source. New bed. Connect to your source. New bed. Make sure you are born again. Connect to your source. Go back to your source. Number two, be transformed. Be transformed by the information you get. As you are getting information, digest it. Osea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. And the book of Proverbs chapter 11 verse 9b, Proverbs 11 verse 9, Proverbs 11 verse 9, he says, By what be? He says, True knowledge shall the just be delivered. So your deliverance lies in the information you get. So get information that will transform your life. Your information determines your art formation. What you take in will determine what comes out of you. So what you are now is based on the information you have inside of you. The more information you have over time, the more the art formation, you begin to form it outward. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three, quickly, 
engage in warfare prayers engage in warfare prayers to pull down those walls engage in warfare prayers to pull down those walls number four engage in violent praise violent praise be a praise singer be someone that knows how to praise god the bible says in the book of what happened in the book of joshua chapter 6 job chapter 6 chapter it was praise that pulled down the walls of jericho it was a stronghold no man could have pulled that before but through praise it came down and in jeremiah chapter 50 verse 15 he talks about praise jeremiah 50 verse 15 he says shout what is the shout is a shout of victory round about her he said what happened a hand uh, he had given a hand a foundation full i was a thrown down he said the walls they used to wall against you he said the wall goes down and then he said for it is the vengeance of the lord they take vengeance upon her as she had done had done do unto her so god said listen to me not only with the walls they used to wall you come down he said but just like the enemy did to you he said god we arise and do back to them can i hear loud amen to that now that could happen in the place of praise when you shout the shout of victory is a sign of praise and then suddenly the walls will go down and then number five the bible says joseph was a fruitful vow number five be a giver be a giver be a giver hello one of the keys to transformation in life great transformation is being a giver hello god loves a giver you see when you learn to be addicted to the things of the kingdom what happened and what the kingdom is saying the words in the kingdom you discover that what happened that your life cannot be warmed you go beyond that if you want to be in the billionaire club in heaven you have to what happened, go beyond your level and be a giver praise the name of the lord okay make sure you're not limited joseph was a giver even in the in a in prison he was busy giving his talent free of charge can I talk to someone today? When he had the opportunity to be a blessing to his family, he never restrict, resisted. He still helped them, did everything. He was a giver. You must learn to be a giver. The, the key to, if you are a giver, there's a level whereby the enemy can think of warning you. No. You, your, your, your branch will grow beyond the walls. They put the wall. There are two things. There are three things. Either the wall goes down, or you leap over the wall or you grow over the wall it means that you had grown the wall am i talking to someone today you had grown the wall you become what well, there's a way you had grown the wall in this case however well, the wall now becomes this is all you need to do when you know it's like you know look at your height now look at the, look at the wall here if you begin to grow there's a level you grow and grow and grow and go and the wall now becomes on your level Hello. So all you need to do, you have grown that wall. You just cross your leg like this and walk over the other side. <laughs> you are not leaping this time around. What about that? You know, you have grown that wall. Praise the Lord. I pray that someone we had grown the wall in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to encourage you. Hello. In serving God, there's listen to me. There should be no going back. Let your heart be on God. And his word be obedient. The Bible talk about his word. You don't follow a part of his word and just say, "Man, say because of that I will do this." No, you follow everything about the word says. Can I talk to someone here today? He says, "Final surrender." In the book of, of uh, what I call it, Isaiah chapter one verse nineteen. He says, "If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land." You cannot be willing and obedient and yet not eat the, the, the good. No. Obedient to what the God will serve is saying. The kingdom. Obedient to everything the world says. And you see that at the end of the day, listen to me, there's no war that can stop you. Look at you and say, neighbor, can I, not, can I congratulate you? No war can stop you. Lift your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I said, pray this day to pray for and say father i said pray this day every witchcraft power trying to stop my dream from manifesting die by fire open your mouth unto the god in jesus name we pray finally say father every world of limitation erected by the witchcraft powers of my father's house
to stop me from fulfilling my destiny collapse now by fire open your mouth and talk to God in Jesus name we pray now stretch forth your hands I want to agree with you there might be you are here today there might be wars that have used against you no one sees the wars but there are wars there invisible just like we did not fight physical battles we're taking the battles to the spirit realm and using spiritual weapons to deal with spiritual issues you don't use physical issues to deal with physical issues you use spiritual issues weapons to deal with spiritual matter today i decree in the name of jesus every satanic wall around you as you say better amen i command the world to collapse nah. every mental wall wall of imprisonment every sickness in form of war and make you to be handicapped whatever the place around you to stop you just like joseph i decree you will grow over the wall in the mighty name of jesus you are a fruitful branch the bible says that what happened in john chapter 15 it said you are connected to the vine and because you are connected to the vine you are not ordained to be barren you are ordained to be fruitful and your fruitfulness it goes out to be a blessing some people need to stand and start eating your fruit some years the seed was sown and today you are eating the fruit of the ministry some are getting healed some are getting deliverance some are getting life transformed changes are taking place you are eating the fruit of the ministry why if the enemy has caged me in one spot and i refuse to I allow them not to go ahead you will not be eating this one now am i talking to someone today so i prophesy just as the enemy could not stop me I prophesy they will not be able to stop you. Not too far from now, others will be eating from your fruit. They'll be eating from your fruit. Either you become so much wealthy and be a blessing to people, or people all over the world will be looking for you because of what you have. If you say better, amen, is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. May God lift that word before, out of your, your around you and may God go ahead abroad and advertise you. May your branch grow so much that it will reach abroad. <laughs> it will reach abroad. It will get to US. It will get to Canada. It will get to Australia. It will get to Africa. It will get to over all over the world. If you say better amen, you will begin to grow. 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 As you grow, you will be on the reach of your enemies. The more they are seeing you, they, 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 they are only looking at your back. You will be far, far ahead of them. So shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the children of God will say a loud amen to that. We believe you've been richly blessed and inspired by the living word of God delivered by Reverend John Okene. We invite you to worship with us live at Divine Church International Ministries where the anointed servant of God, Reverend John Okene, will be teaching and preaching the undiluted word of God with signs and wonders. Worship with us this Sunday. First service, 8 a.m. Second service, 9.30 a.m. What's more, join us every Thursday for our interdenominational power-packed Divine Church program, which takes place by 10.30 a.m. It's one meeting you can't afford to miss. Venue, Divine Church International Ministries, situated on Paradise Hall, Mosheche Estate, off Airport Road, Efron, Delta State, Nigeria. For prayers and counseling, reaches on 081 359 526 23. 081 359 526 23. God bless you.